friends, I hope you all are doing great, uh, keeping safe. Uh, during this pandemic, uh, we, we got hit by the second wave, uh, which is pretty bad all over Canada, uh, all, over, all, all over the world actually. In fact, Canada is doing much better considering uh, what's happening in the States. So, nowhere to go, nothing to do. So I thought to uh, try another Bengali style uh, cooking again. Um, today I'm gonna make Elish Masir Matha Diye and cabbage or Bada Gubi Diye at the condo. It's, it's a very famous recipe. Um, so I'm gonna try making that, never, never made that before. So uh, we'll give it a shot. So here I have the English Masir Matha. Uh, cut into four pieces, then I added uh, salt, about quarter teaspoon of salt and quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder. Here I cut all the potatoes into small pieces. Then again I added uh, salt and turmeric powder. And over here I have about one large onion cut into small pieces, about six or seven green chili, and then one tomato cut into small pieces and then shredded ginger or ginger paste and also we will need uh, green peas so it's there and we'll cook the whole thing in uh, mustard oil important do not cook with uh, white oil or or any other oil it, it will not taste taste good powder red chili powder uh, cumin powder and then whole cumin few bay leaves uh, whole red chili and then I have a few broken cardamom pieces which I'm gonna saute with uh, full, with whole cumin seed then red chili, bay leaves and cardamom I'm gonna saute that so I'll show you in the next step. We boiling that in an instant pot for about six minutes, minutes or so. So I'm gonna add about, about four or five tablespoons of mustard oil let it heat up a bit and then I'm gonna fry the fish. Not the fish, but the English Machin Mata. So I've uh, marinated this uh, English Machin Mata with salt and turmeric for about 5 10 minutes. And the oil is pretty hot. I think it will take me about five, five minutes or so. The frying is almost done. Another minute or so. I'm gonna add a few pieces of green chili and then saute it for another 30, 40 seconds. So in the same oil, I'm going to add bay leaves, whole red chili, whole cumin seed, and after a few minutes, or after a minute, I'm going to add those cardamom. And saute it or fry it for about about three minutes or so. Onion is almost done turn light golden brown. I'm going to add the tomatoes, fry it a bit, and the green chilies. Salt 
do this for about another two, three minutes. And then I'm going to add the masala paste and all the dish mushroom on top and the cabbage. Here I'm going to add all the fried dish mushroom on top. Saute this until the raw flavor is gone, the ginger and the masalas. So saute it at medium temperature. I might add a little hot water in between. Here I'm going to add about half a cup of hot water while sauteing it so that it doesn't get burnt at the bottom. So sauteing is almost done. I'm going to add one teaspoon salt. You should add salt to taste. And one teaspoon sugar. And now I'm going to add all the boiled cabbage. So I'm going to mix it up well. So as you can see, it's pretty well mixed. I added about another half cup of water and we'll let it cook for 10 minutes or so. And in a low, medium to low temperature. I'll cover it, lower the temperature to four, three and a half and it should be done in 10 minutes or so. So looks like cooking is almost done. I'm gonna add Put up garam masala. And freshly homemade fry fed butter or ghee. I'm going to add about a very small tiny spoon. Add about four. Smells really good. I think she's almost done. 